Let's look at a mid-journey alternative that has almost unlimited image generation and is free for commercial use. Playground. First you go to playgroundai.com and then let's look through a few images here. And you can see the community feed here and there are really some very impressive, very, very good images. Alright, I'll just scroll through a few real quick. And then we can scroll back on top and here you just click on get started. And in order to get started we need to log in with a Google account. So yes, we need a Google account and then we can just click here on continue with Google. A few things about Playground, you get 1000 free image generations a day, so it's basically unlimited. Then you get commercial usage rights for all the images that you create. And yeah, it's entirely for free. Now you get to this window here, and when you click here, you get immediately to a tutorial that you can watch on YouTube. In general, there are a lot of tutorials for everything that you can do. But of course, we don't want to watch a tutorial right now. We want to try the stuff ourselves. So let me go back to Playground. And there are many things at the side here. Let's just have a brief look. No worries. First of all, you can choose the model. You don't really need that. The dimensions, which is quite nice. You can choose that. Prompt guidance scale. You also don't really need to do a lot here. You can leave that at 7 as well. Then quality and details. If you want really high quality image, you make it higher. Uh, but it will take longer. That's all you need to know here. I would just leave it uh, where it was or something between 20 and 50. For seed, I would always use like randomized unless you want to do something specific. Here you can choose the number of images. You make that to fork, just a mid journey. And this is all you need to know on this side. On the other side, you can choose a filter. We'll look at that later. Then here you type in your prompt. Um, below that you can add a negative prompt, so what you don't want to have in the image. And then down here you can choose an image for image to image. But we'll look at everything step by step. First of all, let's type in a prompt now and get started. And then we'll look at the different functions. And let's try realistic photos. So let's type photo of a beautiful woman with long red hair and a cute smile. Then we just click on generate and wait and let's see what we can generate here. And up here where it says columns, you can also change how many pictures you want displayed. So like this, it's one, it's four. Okay, now let's have a look at these pic. Okay, well, this looks just ugly. Um, that's maybe okay. Uh, yeah, well, this prompt definitely needs, needs quite a bit more work. So let's do a little bit more here. Let's start with adding a negative prompt, exclude from prompt. And what you type in here, it's just stuff that you don't want. So you really type just in things like ugly, creepy, deformed body parts, multiple body parts, deformed hands, and things like that. You can pause that and see what I type in, but you can also watch a tutorial. They have a very good explanation about these things. But yeah, just type all of the stuff in here. Also mutations, deformations, things like that. It really makes a huge difference, as you'll see. All right, and also let's go back to our original prompt and add a little bit more details. So let's add things like nature, background, centered, symmetrical, then here realistic, portrait photo of, and let's also add highly detailed and ultra realistic and see how it looks like now. Of course, I speed it up. You see how long the generation really takes. My God, this is just what the hell is up with that hair? Okay, the other pictures look better. Yeah, the others look definitely better, but this picture, my God, <laughs> what, what the freaking hell is going on here? Uh, anyway, yeah, that's a bit better. That's quite okay. That's, that's okay as well. Okay, this is weird teeth again. Yeah, no, I think the pictures definitely look a bit better except this one, but it definitely needs still quite a little bit more work. So I'll add a bit more details to the prompt. Uh, so let's say detailed eyes, so it's not that weird. And to the negative prompt, so something like extreme long hair. You just add everything that you don't want into the negative prompt. That really helps strange eyes as well. But the really cool thing now is, and let's now get to the different filters that you can use, because they really make a huge, huge difference. And you can play around with them, but for realistic portrait now, let's use perfume and see what that looks like. 
You also get a tutorial from Playground here when you click there about characters. They make very good tutorials, so I recommend you watch them when you first get started. But let's hit generate now and see how it looks now. And as you can see in our prompt, it automatically added a perfume style and a few other things. And here there are. Now I think they look quite a lot better than before. And perfume style always has this, if you look at the pictures, this high, or what you call this high fashionable style, you might say. This is what perfume style usually looks like. So in comparison with the others, I think they look quite a bit better. But this high fashionable style is actually not quite what I wanted to go for. But always work on your prompts, so let's add a few more details here. And this is something you really need to do with Playground. You need to keep working on your prompts, really craft them, add more and more details, so you get what you want. So let's say Gothic style and see how that looks like. And then also always very important working on the negative prompt. So I'll just add a few more things like long neck, mutated body parts, empty eyes, things like that. If you have the negative prompt once, you can really just copy and paste that for every realistic portrait picture that you want to make. So I'll leave this negative prompt for you down in the description, so you just need to copy and paste that into your pictures. And up here, let's actually also add blurry nature background. Then we hit generate and see what it looks like now. And what I really want you to take away from this is the process on how you work on your prompts and refine them, because this is very important with Playground. It's not as intuitive as, for example, Mid Journey. And these pictures look quite okay. No, they look definitely not bad. Okay, this there is, this on the right is very ugly. Let's try a different filter now, because this high fashionable style of perfume is really not what I was going for. Let's try here Instaport. And let's see what that looks like. All right, just a moment and yeah, okay. No, they look good. Mm, that actually looks pretty good, yeah. The other one as well. And these ones, this one actually looks pretty realistic, I would say, the one on the left. So not bad at all. You can really get some something good if you give it enough time. Let's change Goth style with Rock style over here and see what that changes in the overall picture. I was going for a bit more black clothes maybe, maybe even tattoos, but maybe I have to put that in. Also, let's say half body up here for our next prompt so we don't just have the face. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't say that this is... <laughs> rock style but the pictures don't look bad they look they look pretty good actually yeah now you can work with that definitely looks realistic or oh, definitely more realistic than before all right and here we have our half body and <laughs> nothing really changes the one on the right there is really good but the one on the top left so what's that okay <laughs> okay what the hell is wrong <laughs> with that face uh, anyway, that's very weird, but these ones here, especially this one, looks pretty realistic. That's okay. Well, we forget about the fingers, but maybe if you cut it, <laughs> it does look quite good. All right, let's try another one here. Someone that's also a very good filter for portraits is... Where is it? Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. Analog diffusion. That also gives very good pictures, so let's look at how that style looks like. Oh. Okay. Okay, oh, oh, by the way, the seed has not been random, I just noticed. This sometimes just switches around, I don't know why. So let's click on random again. All right, the one on the right here is pretty good. The one on the left is really ugly. The other ones are very ugly as well. Well, here at the side, if you click at advanced options, you can choose a different sampler. This is not really important for most people, but sometimes it does something. So let's try the other sampler, DPM2. And let's see how the pictures look with that, because sometimes this can make a real difference. So if you want to play around with stuff, I would try playing around with the samplers. And again, one of the best things is that you have basically unlimited generations, so you can work your way up to what you want and a good photo or piece of art. Okay, now first impressions, they look quite a lot better than before. Okay, yeah, no, they look good. Could be definitely a realistic picture. I'm quite okay with these ones, but all of them look quite good. Now I think now we are really getting somewhere. 
Okay, let's go back to the perfume filter with that sampler and see what that looks like. Good, and here you have the other ones again for comparison. They really look okay, now they really look good. And now let's look at these ones. All right, not too bad. Get this high fashionable style again. But okay, this is one thing that's annoying me. I need to change that here now. Let's type that into the negative prompt. Let's type out of frame because the two pictures on the left are not centered and out of frame that doesn't look good. I mean, the pictures look good, but yeah, they are definitely out of frame. So let's change that down here. And yeah, again, I'll have the negative prompt, everything that I use in the description, if you would just want to copy that. But the pictures themselves look quite okay. Now let's try one more with the Instapot filter and the new sampler, and let's compare them as well with the others. Going back down for comparison, and I think this one on the right here looks really good. That's a really good picture. So yeah, for free you can get definitely very good pictures out of here, so I really like that. And of course a commercial use. And here's the Instaport filter, and this doesn't look too bad as well. Oh no, this also looks quite good. No, these are also very beautiful pictures. Okay, perfect. Alright, now I want to show you another filter because you can really do a lot with the filters and get really amazing works of art with the different filters. So let's try the oil painting filter and then let's change in our prompt actually to an, an urban background and let's also make it a handsome man instead of a beautiful woman. Okay, let's speed that up. And I think these pictures look pretty, pretty good. They look really, really good. So definitely test and play around with the different filters. You can create amazing pieces of art, as you can see. Good. The next thing I want to show you is when you click up here on the community feed. First of all, you can see all the other creations and pictures and can get inspiration from that. Because you can see the exact prompts they use, the negative prompts, also the filters and everything. And there are a few really, really great pictures. Let's scroll till we find something that we like, and I think I really like this picture here, that parrot. Yeah, and then let's click on that, and then here you can see the prompts. First of all, let me <laughs> let me actually give it a like, because it really looks good. And then here you can see the prompts that have been used, and down here if you click Remix, you can use it yourself. So let's click Remix, and then you get here with the prompts there at the side, and you can change things if you want however you would like that, but let's just click on generate. Oh, and as you can see, it just generates one picture, so let's come over here, click on four pictures, and okay, here we have our one, let's generate another four, but that one looks pretty good already. And these pictures have a quality score of 50 now, so as you can see, they really take a while. All right, but they look pretty good. Now, if you click on one that you like, up here on Actions, you can click on Upscale by 4, so that you get a bigger version of it that you can actually use for whatever use case you want. And there you can also download it. <laughs> of course, ideally, you would first upscale it and then download it. But yeah, up here on Actions, you can do all of these things. And that's basically what you can do in Playground. It's definitely a lot of prompting work, but if you put in the effort and use the community feed as inspiration, you can create amazing images. If you want to compare even more AI image generators to find the best one for you, be sure to check out this video right over here.